This was buzzing tonight. Largest crowd so far this season. Yeah, more than 12,000 fans were there hoping to watch the Golden Knights just close out the first round of the playoffs, but the Wild had other plans and send the series now back to Minnesota. Yes, yeah, sports director Chris Matthews starts our team coverage tonight with a Game 5 recap, Chris. I think it's a three-hour flight, Denise, again. <laughs> well, the Golden Knights have never won a playoff series on home ice. They have a chance to make history tonight with a win over Minnesota. Remember the last year, uh, they raced out to that 3-1 lead over Vancouver, only to see the Canucks force a Game 7. Boy, they'd love to wrap it up. Over 12,000 fans at the Fortress cheering them on. Mark Stone lights the lamp, giving Vegas the first goal of the game fourth postseason and look at the reaction that tells the story but right after that celebration the wild would answer with three goals on their first six shots on goal that's the first time in Vegas playoff history they'd allowed three in the first Vegas dominated the second period Knights one for 19 in the power play make it two for 20 Alec Martinez scores Vegas outshot the wild 23 to one in the second Tuck almost scores here Knights dominated the second and third periods but it's the wild who force a game six winning four to two you know we're looking forward to game six um, I, I think right you know after after a uh, after a game like that, you want to, you know, you, you want to rest and regroup and uh, re-energize. So that, that it's important that tomorrow we do that. And, um, you know, we'll be ready to go in game six. We've put ourselves, we've worked hard to put ourselves in a really good spot here. And, uh, you know, we'll go and try and take advantage of it in game six. All right, the two teams will meet again on Wednesday. So all those fans who are hoping to celebrate a win, they go home disappointed. Kevin e. Martin caught up with a few medieval maniacs and joins us live from inside the fortress. Hey, Kevin. E. Well, hey, Chris, the largest crowd all season long was on hand here at the Fortress tonight for Game 5. 12,156 fans packed inside T-Mobile Arena hoping the Golden Knights could close things out here tonight. But it wasn't in the cards as the Wild walked away with a 4-2 win. But despite the loss, fans are staying optimistic that the Golden Knights can close things out in Game 6 on Wednesday. I understand the economics of the series going to all seven games. However, there were some major penalties that should have been called. They didn't call them. No, we didn't play our best, but they tried hard, and it was just the luck of the draw. We could get them in game six. You got to love the optimism, but uh, yeah, Chris, you mentioned it earlier. It's crazy to think everything that the Golden Knights have accomplished in their four seasons in the NHL, but they have still yet to close out a playoff series here on home ice. Reporting live inside the fortress, Kevin e. Martin, 8 Sports.